He asked me one question. He said, if you ever had to kill anybody, could you do it? And I thought about it for a minute. I said, yeah, I think I can do it. My old man made quite a name for himself on the streets of New York. He rose in the ranks as an enforcer, and that means he whacked people. He's a living legend of the Cosa Nostra. Unfortunately, most of his former associates aren't alive to talk about him. From the time I was five years old, all I ever heard from my dad, you gotta be a man's man. So I looked at the qualities of man. I looked up to my father. I thought he was a true man. In New York City today, they are still trying to figure out who wanted Joe Colombo dead. How many deaths, murders, do you suppose you are directly responsible for? I respectfully decline. I'm going to answer the questions and I answer my attention. I'm not going to answer another question. Your allegiance to La Cosa Nostra is bound in blood. Should you ever violate this oath, your blood will be shed. What, are you going to kill me? Your son? This is a life we chose. We live by the oath. The oath and the life are more important than us. At least according to this complaint, uh, it would seem that Michael Francisi is unfortunately following the footsteps of his father. You are the youngest, richest mafia don in the United States. It's absolutely untrue. Michael Franzisi's career as a movie producer was interrupted, and he was in handcuffs. Arrested by the FBI on racketeering charges. Authorities described Francis as a young, rich, and dangerous mafia boss who was held without bail. I said, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in this six by eight cell. I had never experienced hopelessness in my life. And that night I got it. You don't look so good, man. This might help you out. At some point that night, I began to read about Jesus. When you're in the business of organized crime, whether it be La Cosa Nostra, a drug cartel, or any street gang, you're dealing in a man's world. It was during that time in the hole that I became convinced beyond any doubt that Jesus was not only a real man, but that he was persecuted, he hung on a cross and died for my sins, and that he is my savior. The evidence is there, and for me, it's rock solid.